I'm gonna say it now, don't see the point of disc brakes on a summer bike. Yeah, I said that. Right, hello, welcome to my bike check video. So today I'm gonna to go through my uh, road bike and my winter, well, my race bike, my winter bike. So currently I'm riding S-Works Tarmac uh, for my road and just a pinnacle Arcos um, for my winter bike, fully set out with mud guards and disc brakes and then rim brakes on this one. So. I'll get rid of this one and I'll go more in depth on this. Right, so start from my works. So I'll tell you what, I'll go from up here and I'll go all the way down to the bottom of the bike. So obviously this is S Works Timer. Um, it's 2018 second edition, I bought a few years back now and finally got it built up. Still haven't properly raced on it yet, done a few time trials, and um, yeah. So on the front of my, uh, so the handlebars are S-Works um, Aerofly bars, um, they're, they're really comfortable. I've got some, um, I think just standard, the tape that just came with it. I like being quite comfortable, but I don't bother with anything on here. Um, and then, uh, well, brakes, shifters and everything, I'm using DR2, uh, Dura Ace, just, it's, it, it, just for road bike, I don't think really much better you can get. Um, so, obviously, Dura Ace, 52, 36, and then on the back, this is just a standard 28, 11 cassette. Um, yeah, um, so if I then go down to... Well, wheels. I've got um, they're just well. I'll go for tyres first. So I've got Vittorio Corsa Control uh, Crafting 2.0. Honestly, best tyres I've ever raced on or just ridden. They they've got so much grip, and I highly recommend them to anyone. Uh, yeah, they're they're on all my all my race wheels. Um, only problem is the wear of it. But if they're only on your summer bike. Then it doesn't really matter. Right, I'll then go to the wheel. These are uh, custom builds. Um, Paul Curran built them for me. They're absolutely amazing wheels. Uh, they've got hope hubs, and then these. This is um, just the, the actual deep section is from uh, some place in China, which I don't really know um, what it is. Uh, and then I, th I don't know the spokes either, so I'm not even going to try talking about them. <laughs> Right, um, obviously front and back, 50 mils. Uh, right, so we'll finish with this and we'll go on to the, the bottle cages, standard SOX bottle cages, got fluorescent yellow, just to match the decal, which I think is quite sick. Uh, seat, saddle, it's just standard SOX stem, SOX stem, SOX saddle, it's quite nice. Uh, it, obviously it's a race one, so like it's not built for comfort, but I do find it quite comfortable. Um, and then right, we'll move on here. So down here, right, I'm using quite power cranks. Uh, they're just I just for training, and I think they're really accurate. Uh, we never have a problem with them. I've had them for a few years now. Yeah, they're quite good. Oh, ceramic, ceramic bearings I have in the crank set as well. Pedals have been for ages. I'll do a check on the bike stand after I've gone through the pinnacle. Um, look pedals, purely for compatibility throughout all my bikes. I know speed posts are meant to be better, but it's just this is what I'm used to. And yeah, I, I just, yeah, they're just what I'm used to. Um, yeah, and then obviously I've, I've gone through, I've got a 52-36 on the front and then 28-11 on the back. Uh, so nothing too special with that, although 
it's true already, so it's quite like, oh yeah, and all black chaining. That's pretty sick. Yeah. So, I'll move on to the pinnacle now. Right, so this is the pinnacle, this is my winter bike. Uh, it's not overly expensive, it is a proper winter bike. Obviously, it's not exactly very clean at the moment, but just ignore that. Right, so again, I'll start off up here. So, I've got Synchro Stem purely because the standard stem that comes with it uh, is too small. Um, pinnacle handlebars, no idea how good they are, but they're solid. Um, just hoods, Shimano, um, just standard one and five. Uh, and then if you go, if, we'll go down to mudguards. So mudguards I got on this are SKS. I don't really know the brand, but they do keep you dry and it makes the bike easy to clean. Um, tires, Conti Four Seasons, uh, GP Four. Honestly, uh, they're they're brilliant. You can the, the wear on them is incredible for a winter bike. I'd highly recommend these tires. Uh, I mean, I was having this debate yesterday, someone was saying about gator skins, but the thing is, the gator skins, you'll only get, uh, although the magnet gets a few more punctures, like, when you do get a puncture, you're screwed. So, like, this is why I use these ones, because although you're more likely to get the puncture, you can actually get the tyre off. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so the wheels, just common Alex, rim, Alex, Alex rims, they just come with the bike. Again, this is just quite a standard bike. Um, uh, we'll go down to discs now. Personally, I think on a winter bike you'd be stupid not to have disc brakes. Uh, yeah, just don't really know much about disc brakes, but they're round. Don't know. Quite nice. So. <laughs> um, Oh yeah, Garmin now. I should have seen on my specialised. Well, that's works. Um, at the moment, I don't have an extended mount on either of these. That was purely because I've been over potholes too hard and snapped two mounts. So that's why I'm just using the standard thing on here and on that S works. But once we get racing again, I'm gonna buy a new one. And it's for aero. Maybe not for this because like it's just a bit of an unnecessary expense. Right, go down here. Uh, Again, I have not a clue what these bottle cages are. It just came with the bike. They seem to take anything though. Um, yeah. Uh, right, so on this, the difference with this one is I've obviously got my saddlebag and light mount. Uh, exposure light mount. I use them, they're just class. If, if, you, get, if you misjudge the time, you put that on, anyone can see you, and they've got no excuse. Uh, and I've got an Evox saddlebag. I did use this on my uh, race bike when I go out on long rides as well. Just think, they're just a, it's just a standard saddlebag again. And then saddle. Now this is different. This is the only thing on the bike that wasn't standard. Um, I, I moved this across from an older bike that I've now got rid of. Uh, it's a Syncross saddle. It's uh, the Road Race 2.0 version. It's to be honest, I just liked it for comfort and it's very similar to the one on my IS works, so it means I'm not always switching. Like, I can't always feel the difference when I change. Um, yeah, and then we'll move down here now. So I've got Wasix Fire Cranks. Uh, honestly, again, standard stuff on it. Just, it's Shimano 105 and it's a, it's a 5034. Uh, so that is different. But, um, in the winter you tend to be slow, so you don't really need that 52 on the front. Um, need a new chain though. <laughs> and then we've got obviously one of five shifters. And then on the back, we've got, I think this will be a 30, 11. Just gives you a bit more range when you're going uphill. Shimano 105. Uh, again, same, same wood guard as the front. And also, disc brakes as well. Uh, well, obviously, I think this is big, I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, so that's my pinnacle. 
Oh yeah, only thing is, I've normally used some Garmin Vex pedals on here, just for power and training, but at the moment they're on my uh, brother's bike, as he, he used them, we just, we just kind of share them. Because, uh, yeah. Right, I'll go and do the uh, free hub check. I think that's what needs to be done next. Right, so, got it up on the stand now. One thing I forgot to mention is the, uh, it's quite a small frame in this. It's only 48 centimetres. Uh, actually, it could be inches. I don't know, but it's like a 48, so it's a small. Um, but yeah, so that's why I've got that longer stem on. Right, now, time for the inevitable free of test. Right, I've got it in its biggest gear. I'm just gonna... Oh, this needs to clean. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, for standard wheels, like, they do spin for longer than you'd expect. But, there you go. That's it done. Uh, so, I'll move on to my S-Works now. Oh, one extra thing to mention. Um, because I sometimes use this on my turbo, uh, I do have a Garmin speed sensor on there just so I can measure uh, how far I've gone on the turbo for Strava, for all those gains. Although I'm now starting to use Swift a lot more, so I don't bother. But yeah, that's it. On to the next bike. Oh, the gains. I didn't mention the size of this one last time either. This is 54 and I've got 100 mil stone. Um, I think I need to probably put a longer one on as it does feel a bit smart at the moment. Um, I also have a speed tensor on this. I'm not quite sure why actually to be fair, but I just did. Right, now for the speed, for the free hub. Here it goes. Oh, bike checks. Um, I do have a few other bikes. If you enjoyed this video, comment below. Tell us if you want to see the bike checks on the other three. Uh, yeah, there's a new bike on the way as well, so I might be able to do a bike check on that, uh, hopefully in the upcoming weeks. Um, yeah, comment below what you think. Uh, what's your opinions? Rim or disc? Obviously, I've gone for rim on here. Rim brakes. I'm going to say it now. I don't see the point of disc brakes on a summer bike. Yeah, I said that. Alright. Done. Finished. Fine. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe. Don't forget, hit the notification bell. Really helps every time you do that. Um, yeah, we've got some big videos coming up. 
Um, uh, you might see some stuff on our Instagram stories. Uh, don't forget to go and follow the Instagram and uh, the Facebook. Um, yeah. So, well, hope you enjoyed. See you later.